The story mode for Arc Axer has been defeated without the use of hacks. We will go over many things as part of this video, most are categories that I mentioned in the 100% video though. Mainly we'll be talking about the story mode, hack collecting, quests, bosses, and a follow up on the miscellaneous goals. Here's to more hacksless content in the future. But first, let's go over the rules. Once again. It might sound strange that we need rules in the first place, but it's not as self-explanatory as you'd think. The rules are as follows. 1. No damaging, using hacks. 2. No applying buffs or debuffs, using hacks. 3. No summoning, using hacks. 4. No defending myself, using hacks. Yes, that last rule is new. It's there because of defensive hacks. Now, it's time to talk about the story mode. WARNING! There are full story spoilers. Finish playing the game before watching this next part. Last time we left off, RGB Block had just released a 10 floor sneak peek. There was no story to be had, so I didn't mention it at all. Since then, the remaining 10 floors were added, along with the end of the story mode. Also, floor 10 was rebranded as into a puzzle floor, but that's for later. The real story parts start on floor 15, where we encounter the Dark Axe. For the next 5 floors, Dark Axer chases us as an overworld obstacle. He throws shadow balls similar to the AI sentries you, you can sometimes find. He also joins in battles, throwing projectiles at random times. Once we reach floor 20, the next cutscene starts playing. Here, we confront the Dark Axer, who spawns clones of himself. When Captain Bryce tries to stop him, the Dark Axer kills him. Let us have a moment of silence. Not long after this, we begin an encounter with, with Dark Axer himself. No roadblocks here. However, there was a bug in the second phase, when Dark Axer summons hands, where the hands could get modifiers. I was unfortunate enough to get a ghostly hand that one time I switched to using the, sun, the stun gun from the Ghost Blaster. And yeah, that wasn't fun, but it was it was a bug and it and it's it's clear. It's it's clear now. The first fight down, Sydney informs us that all the toxins of the stack are gone. Then it's revealed that the Dark Axer turned them all into TOXIC MASS! Taskmaster must sacrifice himself for the fight and grants us our Entity Summon, as I've called it, seeing as it's made from the data of Taskmaster's victims. Then the Toxic Mass battle begins. Once again, no roadblocks to be seen. Two US Busters and a long battle later, and we're chasing Dark Axer, who's trying to get away. Again, no roadblocks, but there's something funny I'd like to point out. Dark Axer tries to defend himself by disabling our hacks. Safe to say that didn't do much. After enjoying the wonderful credits theme by that guy, we can kill the orb and defeat the story mode. While I've been playing stream clips in the background the entire time, here's the end of the credits bit, with audio. If I learned anything on this journey is that maybe people aren't all that terrible. You're not only strong, you're a great person. I hope your real world self is as cool as you are. Anyway, I have the command ready to upload you to the other side. We can go when you're ready. Alright, our cats are upload starting. Good luck over there. I'm, I'm just gonna break this moment really quickly. Check the headset power. 13, okay, we're good. Congrats on finishing the game without ever using hands. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's good to know that that's possible. Although actually it's no longer possible because you can't start the journey. But other than that, it's completely possible. Credits. 
still must complete the game to 100%. Which, which is not hard. I love how it just kicks you to the main menu. I've already touched on most of the hacks last video, but since then more hacks were added to the game. The ones obtainable by a warrior are as follows. Summon Lori, Hack Crit 1, Hack Defense 2, Hack Power 2, RGB Bolt, Afterburner, Shadow Blast, Bonerang, Mega RGB, Erase Time, and Summon Barkus. Also new since the last video, as I mentioned shortly before, is defensive hacks. There are only three of them currently, and only one of them is available to warriors, that being Firewall. Yep. There are only four new quests added to the game. Unfound Bananas, which is an unofficial name, Red, Green, Blue, Green Guys, and finally, Haxium. The rewards for these are the Banado, a PP Up, the Erase Time module, and the Fast Forward module. These are all possible. If anyone was watching my streams for the past weeks, you'd know that I had problems with, finally, Haxium, but the rest was just fine. D you know, grinding like the other grind tests. As for Unfound Bananas, there's a tutorial for it on my spreadsheet. Speaking of my spreadsheet, here's a small ad! I'm sorry if this is annoying, but it's relevant, I promise. As you may have known, I'm the Master Guide, and as the Master Guide, I want to help the people! I have made a spreadsheet with all the info you need. I also found the Phantom one. Check it out. Unrelated, but I've also made a very bad game. It's more of an interactive story, but it is what it is. Links in the description. I've already talked about Dark X and Toxic Mass, but there's one more boss I have to talk about. OC Lori. I have a confession to make. I cheese this fight. Like, hardcore cheese. At some point, Enzo had to do some testing and change Lori's power to 1. He forgot to change it back before posting the update. It made the battle so easy. Sorry, not sorry. Also, I redid the fight and made it to the final turn before dying, so, you know, I basically, I basically made it. Last time, I mentioned some miscellaneous goals. Those were to get the best gear, get all hex level 25, get to level 100, get 10,000 health, and floor 100 of Simpson by the end of the story map. I have completed all of these. Floor 100 of Simpson became a non-optional goal, which I did clear in the last video. As for the rest, I had completed the non-optional task before any of the miscellaneous goals. Not long after getting, finally, Haxium, I completed the Hax level 25 goal. The day after, I reached both level 100 and 10,000 HP. And finally, good gear. I have gotten the best armor set, best sword, and best gun in the game. I wanted to get the Assassin's Dagger, Flaming Crossbow, and Jailbreaker, but didn't want to wait for that before posting this video because honestly, it's kind of irrelevant. So yeah, just know I will be working on getting those in my on off time, but I probably won't be streaming it, and I definitely won't be making a video about it. <laughs> 
because it doesn't really matter. To conclude, this has been a really fun journey. This game is awesome, and the fact that I was able to complete this challenge is awesome. We can now say that it's 100% possible to complete this game without using hacks. But what's to come? It's unclear. When more content is added, I will complete those hacks lists. But I do have something special in mind. If, it, if the new King Ghost mini-boss is added, then I have a special challenge. Haxless, without the Ghost Blaster, or Fire Sword slash f Flaming Crossbow. Basically, I can't remove Ethereal, and I can't use the already known strategy of just applying the Burn Glitch to enemies. I have a few ways of thinking how this could work. Uh, but those will be revealed in the next video, or whenever it actually comes out. Until next time, Superior Warrior, out. Alright everybody, so I think we're gonna end off here. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. And if you want to help me out even more, please subscribe. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want to be notified every time I upload a YouTube video, uh, which is daily by the way, hit the notification bell. You will be notified every day. Uh, and uh, if you have any feedback, uh, comment on my video, please. Thank you. Uh, so once again, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be notified every day. And yeah, thank you so much for watching once again. Thank you so very much to all, all my Patreons who support me and my content, uh, whose names are up on the screen right now. Uh, if you would like to uh, help me out uh, and donate to me on Patreon, the link will be in the description. Uh, you don't need to donate, of course, uh, and uh, your name will be added to the list here, along with the other benefits depending on uh, what tier you have. Uh, so thank you once again to all my Patreons. Uh, enjoy the T-Pose, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.